<clears throat> Jesse Vaughn Sr., stationary air scientist, also known as uh, Maniac Vaughn's Truth Incorporated. Uh, this is going to be like a part four and final installation, uh, just an add-on thought to my Billy the Kid post-mortem photograph uh, videos. I have parts one, two, and part three is the grim existence of post standalone post-mortem photography and uh, of the 1800s and Billy the Kid. Um, I've come across a few other bits of information that lend credence to I didn't I didn't see it before Pat Garrett had tried to pass off two different two different people that he killed and tried to pass off to the Fort Sumner medical examiner as Billy the Kid so he tried damn hard to pass two guys off that were not him to begin with I don't know why I didn't see that he he was trying hard not to turn his homeboy in at that point so the fact that the person that's in that picture is obviously a dead person it's supposed to be billy the kid i'm almost willing to bet that that's not billy the kid either because enter brushy bill roberts brushy bill roberts had inf information that only billy the kid would have known but they were he was not billy the kid because he was ignorant of things that he should have known if he was actually billy the kid so i'm not to mention the ear biometrics did not match up at all but i believe that these stooges, I mean, the same thing happened with Jesse James. Jesse James had a man, I can't remember the guy's name. This is something I came up on uh, just going through these uh, these old, just old occurrences. And uh, Jesse James had the, sa uh, the same thing happen with him after he had supposedly died, that some guy would come out and, you know, was claiming to be him and uh, grew to be pretty old age. And he knew things about Jesse James, but there were things that he, that he didn't know. And uh, it just... I, I, I don't believe in any coincidences. I believe these two men, I believe Jesse James and William H. Bonney, I believe they both hoaxed their own death. They might have had Freemasonic ties. Um, th that was a big thing back then with those guys, was the standalone post-war photography vet. And that, I believe that's why that it is try to be, it's tried to be made a myth. They try to say that, that, that it didn't exist, but you can find clearly pictures of standalone post-war photography. So I believe that the reason they do this is because it's a Masonic thing. And uh, most of all the standalone postmortem photo photographs that I came across, they were most definitely Masons. You know, they, they would have their hands tucked inside their jacket and whatnot. Um, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to uh, put this out there that I believe these two gentlemen both hoaxed their own death. And they sent out these stooges to, you know, with enough information just to get people's attention that they might be them but in the end their ear biometrics didn't match up and they just didn't uh they didn't know things that the two men should have that they should have known if they if they, if they were either or of the of the two men so i believe that Je uh, jesse james and william h botany hoaxed their own death and that's my final conclusion um but i do still stand by that this photograph of whoever it is whether it be william h botany or Whatever, I believe that that is a post-mortem photograph. There's a, a whole bunch of telltale signs that he's a dead man. Um, if you just get, get, a, get a chance, go check out the one, two, and three. It'll blow your mind. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it.